It's Madden NFL 24, and we'll see Bryce Young. He had the green light to sling it last week, over 450 yards passing. It's the Panthers and the Lions under the lights on Monday night. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Tonight we finish off week six with a good Monday nighter as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They're led onto the field by the former Cal Bear and the number one overall pick in 2016, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he oh, showed God. earlier in his career. Off play action. Here's Goff. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll run for the first time with the speedster, Jameer Gibbs. And he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. You look at this Carolina defense. It's quite a unit, that's for sure. Number one in the NFL against the Pats. And when you're getting ready to face the number one overall offense in the NFL, it does not matter where you rank defensively because you get your hands full. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. Jack Fox now gets set to punt. Now, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. And take it right on the 30. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. And he's been playing at an elite level here in this early half of the season. Tops in the league in touchdown passes at this point. This is definitely a wide open offense, and we'll see if he can keep his string of good games going right here. Open here, Adam Thielen. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 19 yards that time for number 19. First down, Young. Escaping the pressure right. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. So, Charles, you look at this offense, so what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0 then lost five of six and went out in the first round. I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that's going to make it fourth down. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And the Panthers stake claim to a 3-0 lead. A lot of energy in this building tonight, but the opening drive produces three, maybe quiets them just a bit, at least momentarily. Just a little, right? That's all you're asking for, right? Things just getting started. You know they haven't taken the momentum totally here, 
but at the same time, they like what they've done here in the early going. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. Boss pass finds Williams complete. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight and he comes up with a first down of the play. There's gone. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. You look at this Carolina defense. They were very good last week in the win over the Saints. And the big difference in the game, their ability to force turnovers. Multiple, in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, the big difference in the game. It was impressive. Now the question, can they duplicate it? Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Young off the play fake. He'll dump this one off to Hubbard. Breaks through the contact. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Young on first down. His throw incomplete. The Panthers hit a perfect 5-0 here to begin the campaign. They've certainly found their group of late winners of five in a row. And this team is absolutely playing their best football right now. This is the best that we've seen them play in a long time, partner. Sky's the limit. There he goes, left side. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 23. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback okay, like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Touchdown, Panthers! Cuba Hubbard, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. So that drive, four plays. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. So here come the Lions now. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are, but let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Second and six, just inside the 30. Goff now looking to throw. This is caught by Williams. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 
I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag oh, route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Well, this defense for the Panthers, they were very good last week in the win over New Orleans. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll fake the give. Now gone. That pass caught. It's Williams. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? Well, that flag puts them on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Lions are back within a score. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Here comes Chuba Hubbard. Let's take a closer look at it. And we checked the rushing numbers so far here into week six, and the returns have been really good. Now, you're starting to hit that stride middle of the season toward the end. They're certainly hoping they can keep up this production. They are because one of the adages in the NFL is that defense travels and defense endures even in bad weather, right? You know what else does? A good running game. And people want that, especially as you head down the stretch. You may play outdoors in some nasty stuff. You're trying to get to the playoffs. This is the time to get it going. And individually, I don't think you should just think about 1,000 yards either. The bar has to be set higher with this beginning. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. And we'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther yeah. who is shaken up on that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. He's got Mingo. Touchdown. Jonathan Mingo, 35 yards. And the Panthers are able to extend their lead. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And they come in losers of two straight. And remember, they've got the open date on their calendar next weekend, but you think it's vitally important, Charles, that they focus on the task at hand here. Absolutely, because these players, they know what's coming up. And the difference between taking time off following a win versus doing so on a three-game losing streak, that's absolutely huge because they may come back if they lose this game to a facility, and there may be new faces in there and some teammates lost. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now gone. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. 
they become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Now is second and ten. A shotgun snap for Goff. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The Lions on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. From the gun, here's Goff. He's airing it out for Williams. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. This is taken at about the 14. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And they will take over first and 10. Here comes Chuba Hubbard. Let's take a closer look at him. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because <laughs> they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 77 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff, and when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't, but also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the strain the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Right back to Hubbard. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call him run. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Deontay Johnson. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Panthers are able to stretch out their lead. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. The Lions offense set to take over. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Drive starts with a run from Gibbs. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Well, you won. Back to throw, Goff. That is caught. It's Williams. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamison Williams with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Lions get a bit closer. And 
Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead down to 10, 24-14. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Here comes Chuba Hubbard. Let's take a closer look at him. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. On first and 10, Young. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. He'll drop to throw. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Third down, here's a run by Hubbard. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Young on fourth down. He'll buy some time right. And a short pass pulled in by Washington. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Ready, ready. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. 103 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. The play fake, now Young. He's got his target, that's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The Panthers gonna use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. It's Young off play action. And Thomas has it. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Young now. Steps away to his left. Touchdown. Bryce Young as the first half is winding down. And the Panthers would extend their lead here just before halftime. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was Bryce Young who finished things off with a touchdown run. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Well, we'll move right through the break then, skipping halftime and back to the field for the start of the second half. 
And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. So here are the Panthers set to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak, and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. Ready. Third quarter starts with a run by Hubbard. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Off the play fake, Young. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. They go play action. Young. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A gain of 32 that time. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. The tight end in motion right. From the red zone now, Young flushed out right. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Let's give a little credit to the defense on that one. They resisted quite well, and that pass fell incomplete. But this ball game for him, that's just a momentary speed bump. He's played awfully well throwing the football. Ready. A quick throw by Young caught out wide. And the Panthers are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Jonathan Mingo, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Panthers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead is now 24. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they start things off with a carry by Gibbs here. Shifts by him. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 50 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Here's Gaw. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez Scantling. Touchdown, Detroit! Marquez Valdez Scantling, 55 yards. And the Lions are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Now a toss coming right side. It's Gibbs. You know, we've discussed this before, and we've seen it at practices, extra periods being put in for the offense on these two-point tries. But the defense, they're beefing up their support as well in practice. They absolutely have to. If people are going to go for two and try and gain those advantages and make it tougher on your team as the game goes along, 
you have to be in a position to stop those. You can't let them get the advantage. So, yes, the defensive teams, they're putting in that extra time on two-point plays as well. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. Young off the play fake. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A gain there of 21 yards. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. They'll get this complete to the running back, Hubbard. And he's got this down to the 35. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. They're quickly to feel him here. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 10 more there and another first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways They've gotten their receivers open so far. It's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Speed bump there with that throw partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive. End zone. Now Young. He'll find Thielen work in the middle. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Young. That is caught. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. It'll be Young again. This is caught. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Young will set to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Ready. Here's Young. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. That sack courtesy of Jack Campbell. Well, we saw him score on the ground earlier in the ball game. This time, the defense says not so fast. Yeah, that's good scouting and good awareness, isn't it? Because you always have to be wary of him keeping it himself, especially in this part of the field. Because if he doesn't like what he sees, you know he'll take off and try and go for it himself. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. On first down, it's gone. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. 
At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And a gain of about four here moves this from the six up to the ten. The Lions on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and six. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, gone. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, that frustration, Charles, it's been building on the defensive side of the ball, and unfortunately there, it turns into a roughing the passer penalty. Yeah, and they should be frustrated because he's picked them apart the entire game, but it's got to come out in a different way. You can't hit him illegally. Stop him downfield the way you're supposed to. Again, golf. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Goff now to throw. He gets this out wide to Gibbs, and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. A shotgun snap for Goff. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 43. Play action. It's gone. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. On second down, here's Goff. A quick throw there is incomplete. But it would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. They converted twice on third down that drive already but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Desperation time for Goff on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dab. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. First down, they'll stay on the ground with Hubbard. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Chuba Hubbard, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And they open the lead up now to 25. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. But Jamison Williams out onto the field as his guys take over on offense. Let's see here, Charles. Six catches, over 100 yards. Call that a pretty good day at the office. And I love the accumulation. The catches, the yardage. That means he's having a pretty good impact on this ball game and really helping his team out in a big way. Means he wants the football again, right? And it's funny because some of these receivers are very vocal about how much they're getting it. Others are quieter, but they still let you know, give me the ball, I'm going to make a play. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. 
They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. From the gun, here's Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Goff now looking to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. To the air again, Goff. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick, and he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Facing this fourth quarter deficit, felt like they had to throw the ball, and on the other side, they were ready. No doubt about it. They're playing situational football. They look at the clock. They know the lead that they have, and all they're doing is go. playing pass on every down. Playing the pass, picking it off, and now big time in the driver's seat. Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. 172 yards rushing for him now to this point. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. Gets past one man. Four yards the pickup, first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show off their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage.